have a problem that we have the water here and the boundary is given by this curve or x and y are both measured in centimeters the top of the channel is level with the ground so that means this line here is parallel with the x-axis and has a width of 24 so negative 12 to 12 the maximum depth of the channel is 16 centimeters that's down to here find the width of the water surface in the channel so I'm looking to find the distance from here to here that's the value I'm looking for well <clears throat> what I can do I know that the depth currently is 10 and so the distance there is 6 and so this line right here going through is y is equal to negative 6 and I am looking for I want to if I want to find the width if I can find this distance double it I can find the width so I'm looking for this point of intersection between y equals negative 6 and the curve and so I'm looking for some xy where I know I don't know what x is but I know that y is negative 6 it has to satisfy this equation so I can take the negative 6 plug it in for y <clears throat> so negative 6 is equal to 16 secant pi x over 36 minus 32 add the 32 and I get oh, 26 equals 16 secant pi x by 36 divide by the 16 so I get 13 over 8 it's equal to secant pi x over 36 take my secant I know is 1 over cosine so if I flip this side 8 over 13 is going to be the same as cosine of pi x over 36 now there is a clue that I have to answer in terms of arc cosine <clears throat> and so I'm going to take the inverse of cosine which is just arc cosine of 8 over 13 and that's going to equal to pi x over 36 I'm going to multiply by 36 arc cosine 8 over 13 and then also divide by pi and that is equal to x this is my x value oh. that's my x value so that tells me that this distance to here is that is 36 pi arc cosine 8 by 13 that's this distance because I was looking for this point of intersection I'm looking for the whole distance which is two of those so the width is equal to 2 times 36 pi arc cosine 8 over 13 I hope that helps if not let me know